Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this video on the tropics. So this video is going to be covering the updates on our Invest 91L as well as Major Hurricane Larry over in the Atlantic. And we're going to briefly talk about the Pacific. We have a developing storm over that basin. And so before I go into details... Alright, so let us kickstart things with the Eastern Pacific. So looking at the five-day outlook from the National Hurricane Center, we're seeing here that we have two disturbances. We have one just off Mexico and another one which is highlighted in yellow. So that one which is highlighted in yellow is given a low 10% chance to develop through both 48 hours and five days. And it is getting quite unlikely that we will have any development of that disturbance. But let's go to the other one. So looking at the outlook for this disturbance, we're seeing here that it's is given a high 90% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone and it is likely that we will have a tropical storm probably by the next day or so uh, most likely before the midweek and the next name to be used for the eastern pacific basin is Olaf so it seems as though we're having the whole frozen crew being used for this hurricane season over in the Atlantic we've had Anna and Elsa and now here we have Olaf over in the eastern pacific so it is likely that uh, this disturbance will eventually become tropical tropical storm or even hurricane Olaf so fortunately it's going to be parallel in the west coast of Mexico but it could result in some inclement weather uh, for coastal areas so let's look at the satellite view of the disturbance and so here we have it so some of this convection is spreading on shore we have some areas that are probably experiencing uh, some inclement weather conditions as of right now but as time goes by the system is going to be accelerating away from the coast so fortunately it is not going to be much of a significant threat to land as it's going to be making its way parallel to the western coast of Mexico. And so in terms of the model intensity guidance for 96E, we're seeing here that we have quite a bit of available models and most agree that this will become a named storm and a few expecting that it is going to be achieved in category one status and they're not showing anything stronger than that because it's going to be accelerating to the northwest and more and the more it makes its way to the north, it is going to be encountering cooler waters which are going to be aiding in weakening of the system because remember tropical cyclones need warmth and moisture to develop so without that we're not going to be having much development or intensification of 96e and so in terms of the track we have most of our models agreeing that it is going to be off the coast of mexico it's going to be paralleling the back california peninsula right there so it is possible that some of the outer bands can affect uh, the back california peninsula but nothing significant or very major is anticipated as a result of this disturbance. And so now let's hop over into the Atlantic Basin. So here we have Invest 91L as well as Major Hurricane Larry. So let's talk about Larry first. And so looking at the satellite view of the Major Hurricane, we're seeing it. It is actually looking a lot better, guys, because this morning it did not look so good at all. And we have the eye looking more circular. It was very ragged earlier. And now we have looking a lot better we see some more deep convection being noted on the western side of the storm it is not distributed around the entire eye wall but it is looking a lot better overall guys and so let's look at the cone forecast for larry and so we're seeing here that larry has maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour as of right now and it is accelerating to the northwest at 10 miles per hour so fortunately even though it's such a powerful hurricane it is out in the open waters and not going to be making land for anywhere however uh, these swells that are going to be generated as a result of Larry could result in some dangerous rip currents. So sections of the Caribbean, uh, especially most of the Northern Caribbean, the Bahamas and the East Coast, you really want to be cautious, guys. It's best to avoid going to the beach because these rip currents can be very, very dangerous. And a lot of times we've seen where tropical cyclones are offshore, but due to the rip currents and persons going swimming, surfing, whatever it may be, uh, they probably end up losing their lives. So please just avoid going to the beach, especially as we're going to be progressing to the midweek. And fortunately, as Larry increases in latitude, it is going to be uh, weakening, but 
when it is going to be close to Bermuda near the latter part of this week, it is likely that Bermuda might feel some impacts. It probably is going to be in that tropical storm force wind feel. So if you're in Bermuda, you want to keep an eye on this. And remember, there's always the chance that the cone can shift. It probably shifts more to the east, more to the west. We have to wait and see what's going to be happening. But if you're in Bermuda, heads up because this system is going to be close enough if it follows this track as seen here by the National Hurricane Center. It is going to be close enough for you guys there to experience some very inclement weather as a result of Larry. And so now let's go on to invest 91. And so looking at it, uh, the five-day outlook from the National Hurricane Center here, we're seeing here that it is given a 30% chance to develop. And this chance has been stagnant at 30% for quite a while. So no imminent development is anticipated of the disturbance. But when it is going to be in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico and making its way uh, back out into the open waters of the Atlantic, that is where we could have some development. So there is a chance that it could develop before making its way over Florida. But regardless, it is going to be bringing some uh, inclement weather conditions so if you're in Florida please be prepared for some heavy rainfall some gusty winds and I would say even Georgia as well because the system here is not so organized and if it is disorganized and all that shower and thunderstorm activity is so widespread then more areas are going to be feeling the impacts for the system so if you're in the southeastern US please keep an eye on this but no significant development is expected but when it moves over into the open waters it will have another chance to develop and get in shape because as of right now conditions are only marginally conducive to enable development of 91 L. And so let's look at it on satellite view here. And so we're seeing here that we don't have much organization at all. And we're having somewhat of a limited shower and thunderstorm activity. Um, more shower and thunderstorm activity is there than what was there yesterday. So it is looking a little bit better, but definitely not organized as of right now. And we have most of that convection going off to the east. So we'll have to wait and see what is going to be the eventual outcome with the system. But one thing for sure is that conditions are just marginally conducive and and imminent development of this disturbance is not anticipated but if it does manage to become maybe a weak storm it will acquire the name Mindy and that is the next thing to be used for this hurricane season and so guys that is it for this update video so again over in the EPAC we have invest 96 e which is likely to become a tropical storm Olaf probably by the next day or so and over in the Atlantic we have major hurricane Larry which is going to be generating some swells that are going to be affecting portions of the Caribbean, the Bahamas, and the East Coast with some rip currents. And we have Invest 91L, which has a chance to develop, but regardless, is going to be bringing some inclement weather to portions of the southeastern US. And so, guys, that is it. And if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be otherwise, and I will keep you updated as time goes by.